Hi guys, Stefan's going to be our driver for this little short video. We're going to explain what tail swing is, so I'm just going to explain the setup that we've got at the back of the vehicle. We can't show you properly because it would be on the curb side, and as you can see, the curb side here. And I don't think they'd be too happy about us driving into their head. If you start on isolating it and stand it all up. So we come down here. This wooden plank here represents the nice little pavement that we're going to sweep over and you could say that this mop bucket is Miss Davis or the lamp post we're about to hit I think for this we are going to just move that a bit further there so as long as he knocks this over he's done the right thing for this one we have got two GoPros here so you can see how far the rear end does swing out we've got this one here and the one just up on the roof there so without further ado the idiot can start it up and we can demonstrate this one I don't think he hit it. Now, right, when he's ready, we're going to try this again. So I'm going to stand here. Well, let's see if he can hit Miss Davis this time. Yeah, is it Mr. Davis? <laughs> it's crap about that. So, as normal, I haven't recorded a little ending to this. This was recorded quite a while ago. You will now see why, when driving a single deck vehicle and double deck, it is very important as a bus driver, I can drive to the checky, the tail swing of the vehicle, especially when pulling away from the curb, because you want to make sure that you're not hitting a passenger or a lamp post or some railings, as in one video on you on uh, Facebook. But you want to make sure you're not going to hit anything that's going to cause damage to the bus or injure anyone. Also, whilst turning, you don't want to make sure that you, you want to make sure you're not going to be uh, twatting that car at the side of you as you turn, because they will not be very happy with you. So I'm just going to leave it at that for now. I hope you found this little bit of video interesting, and hopefully it explains why we check tail swings and why it is important that car drivers don't enter the tail swing area especially if you're taking up two lanes to turn left or right we're taking up two lanes on purpose not just because we like taking up two lanes well thanks for watching see you next time see you out on the road